In this video, we're going to show the Dockstar fully booting from scratch to a Fluxbox user environment. Like it here. And from this Fluxbox user environment, we're going to load an NES emulator and play it, uh, play Contra, uh, with this USB joystick which is plugged in. Uh, it's just hubbed in via this USB keyboard. And you can see the Dockstar here is booting. This is our USB audio device. Here is our USB thumb drive, which is actually quite slow, but doesn't make a huge amount of difference to us right now. And if you'll notice, between the two USB ports, I've run the mini USB connector that's originally used for the hard drive out to the USB to VGA connector because it had a you know mini VGA in on it. And so here we've got the green screen, which means at any moment we should get ourselves a log on. Allow me to log on. We're in Fluxbox. We've got a full window system, full menus, um, programs, everything. So let me. I wrote a script in advance with all of my uh, settings in terms of not having OpenGL on and having full screen on, etc. For FCEU. start that up and I will load up Contra which I actually do own a cartridge of and this may be difficult to hear but it is playing the Contra music and allow me to actually play some Contra here So yeah, 100% uh, speed, definitely. Sounds working fine, USB control, USB audio, everything's working great. And uh, that's that for NES. As you can see, a game of Monkey Island 3 is being played. Audio, video, the whole shebang. But oddly enough, it is running off of a pogo plug. A Dockstar adapter that I bought for 25 bucks off Ben's outlet the other day. A little USB audio adapter. And an old Lexar jump drive from a few years ago. All put together to actually make a fairly impressive gaming machine. Let me skip through this intro and show you some of the other things we can do here. Not that this isn't impressive. But let's see. see everything works just fine um, it plays well the sound uh, everything's just pretty much peachy keen let me quit this and see so we've got flexbox running can we start that it's all cool now, sometimes when ScumVM stops, uh, here I'm going to show the Dockstar running DOSBox. More specifically, I'm going to show it running Warcraft, uh, the original. Uh, this is all on a 4 watt system being displayed over a DisplayLink USB processor. So, change to the directory. 
start it up. And here we go. Might be difficult to hear coming out of my headphones, but there is audio in addition to the video playing. Not just that, we've also got a you know, full mouse. So I'll start a new game. A single player custom game. And I'll pick, how about a swamp? Perhaps, yeah, enemies orc. An army, I'll get a knight, a footman, and two peasants. And I start it up. And as the dock star loads the data off the USB drive, emulating the CPU and the video and the graphics and displaying it over USB, in a moment, we should see Warcraft 3, er, sorry, Warcraft. Here we go. And so, I am playing Warcraft. Full audio, graphics, sound, the whole bit. And this is all in the dock star. Here I'm demonstrating the use of Stella, the Atari 2600 emulator for uh, Linux, and it's running on the Pogo Plug Dockstar adapter. And so if I open on up Adventure, well, here we are. Stella, running Adventure. This is Mednafen running on the Dockstar Pogo Plug. I'm going to start out with a Lynx ROM, uh, Lemmings. So this is uh, Mednafen running Lemmings uh, with sound, video, pretty much full speed, uh, as far as I can tell. And uh, Lemmings. So, now you have all your Lynx games to play on your Dockstar. That's super fun, right? This is a video of Game Boy Advance emulation on the Dockstar Pogo Plug using a USB video adapter. Uh, here we'll be playing first uh, Castlevania. Ario of Sorrow for the Game Boy Advance. I've got just a standard Logitech USB controller. I'm uh, playing Mednafen. And the audio is coming out of my headphones. And a USB to audio adapter. And as you may be able to see, it is running just fine. Full speed, maybe even faster than full speed. Graphics are smooth, crisp. Uh, everything is gravy. Here is Mednafen running on the Dock Star, running a Game Boy game, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Pretty classic. see it's running just perfectly with no issues at all. Here is Mednafen running a Game Boy Color game, Lufia, on the Dockstar adapter with a USB to VGA or USB to DVI to VGA adapter. As you can see it is just perfect. Sound, audio, video, everything. Working great. 
Here is Medfen playing a Neo Geo Pocket Color ROM, Last Blade, on the Dock Star. As you can see, everything's running just peachy. Quick. Everything's emulated well. Full speed sound. This Ultra. is Mednafen emulating TurboGrafx 16 on the Dockstar with the USB to VGA DVI adapter. As you can see, well, everything is playing this gravy time. Uh, full speed sound, video, everything's great. And, uh, even sports to play. This is Mednafen running on the Dock Star, uh, running a Wonder Swan color game, uh, Guilty Gear Petite 2. It's a Wonder Swan game. I've got my joystick plugged in. And although it is a Japanese game, it is quite playable and a lot of fun. A lot like its Neo Geo counterpart, Last Blade. Good graphics. Although I've already demonstrated that Game Boy Advance games play fine with Medifin, um, I'm also going to show that Visual Boy Advance runs uh, just fine as well. Uh, here it is playing Super Mario World. Uh, it's getting some also errors but I think that that's probably something that's easily corrected. And it's running at 30% probably using an OpenGL driver with a little bit of tweaking. I'm sure it could be running full speed just like Medivin. Uh This is going to show the open source strategy game Battle for Westnoff playing on the Dockstar Free Agent which I might remind you comes with a built-in gigabit ethernet so you could run server or client uh, for strategy games such as this and you'll notice I mean everything is just gravy running beautifully uh, no hiccups at all. Now I just wanted to show a level of Super Tux playing on the Dark Star as you can see it's quite responsive, the audio is fine the gameplay is fine, I'm using the USB gamepad here to play and I'm not very good, but it's quite interesting. Uh, here's a short video of Open Arena in action. As you can see, it is quite laggy. Uh, I think that's due to the lack of a real OpenGL processor on this. Uh, there's a lot of OpenGL calls being made and they are being routed to the CPU quite slowly. So, this is the Sega Saturn emulator Yabaus? Yabase? I don't know. Running on the Dockstar here. Uh, we are running a Japanese uh, Saturn game called uh, Sonic, actually. And we can actually see that we are only getting you know, 8 to 10 frames per second emulation, which is not particularly good, but I feel that we can improve pretty well, and it's interesting. Plus, you know, the sound's working.